Hey, what's up, mi gente? One video today about the treadmill machine, the Proform 330X. This is the uh, treadmill um, machine, you know, the machine for XXI and all that, but I use the motor <clears throat> for one project here on my home. This is the motor. Um, it's the it's the DC motor. It's the DC motor. It is the 2.25 HP, 18 amps, 18 amps uh, maximum uh, current amps, 1.3 HP continue to 90. 5 volt DC this motor is DC so like I say you can connect this motor straight to the to the outlet because you're going broken the motor so basically today I'm going to explain how connect this I mean how take it off everything on the on the three mil uh, uh, machine um, just uh, do it this project okay I take it off the flywheel because I'm working on that um, I take it to the machine shop for just customize uh, the pulling because I have another project here on my home anyways uh, basically you need to take it off everything on you on the trim mill you have to take it off everything. Don't know it's scary. Let me let me say something. This is this motor is for the Pro Form 330X. I don't know if it's the same in another uh, uh, trim mill, but I guess yes. I mean, it's it's basically the same thing. So, all what you need, all what you need is this. This is the speed controller. This is the MC60 speed controller. Um, this is the the transformer included. So basically, you need just this and this. The rest is garbage. So how you connect this is really easy. This is the power. Okay. This is the power. So the line is going all, all straight right here. I mean, I customized this, but basically what it doing this cable inside is just the positive. I mean, the white cable pass through this uh, switch for just turn it on, on or off. But at the same time, this is like, like the breaker or, I mean, as soon as you pass 15 amps, this thing trip so it's for protect your motor so basically the cable is just going straight the the white cable pass through this and continue the black cable continue straight okay so this is the out right here so see white and black cable the white is the positive and the black one is the neutral and the ground is the is the green one is already attached inside to this just for for ground okay so pass pass this uh, two cable through the switch and if you follow the black and white cable it's going to be just right here see so the white cable is going to be to the white connection and the black cable is going to be to the blue okay so you have power already in your speed controller so when you finish that right here in this area you're going to see three connector okay this is the high speed wiper like the neutral point and the low speed so this is the normally potentiometer 
he had three he had three pins all right just just three pins the center one the one on the center okay so the one on the center is going to be the yellow one okay so the center cable is going to be to the center and um, the one to the left is going to this side and the one to the right is going to this side okay so basically you can switch these two example so if he, if he, you tune it on this and the and the low speed not working here all what you need is switch the cable okay so but the center is going to the center because it's the white is the is the is the the neutral point okay so when you finish that three cable three pin on the on the potentiometer as soon as you do that you have power you have the speed controller connected already but you need this is the cable to the motor okay so the motor coming with four cable right one red one black and two blue you have to disconnect uh, these two blue because that blue is just for heat protection so basically you don't need that so just take it off cut it and leave it right there the blue cable so just you're going to use the blue the red and the black so you have red and black okay the red cable is like the positive cable is going to be to motor see right here motor red it's going to be the red and the black cable pass through the transformer and come back to the black negative so basically this cable is going up pass through the transformer and going to the motor you can't release this you have to use this and this for work not try put the motor straight to the through to the through the uh, regulator okay let me tune it on so this is the switch everybody see i have power already you can see the led right there the led and red if you tune it off it's off tune it on okay so now i'm going to start moving a little bit the regulator and you're going to see the second one is already on so the motor is right there so that one is the third led so as soon as you start going up a little bit you go and see there we go it's on so right there is the is the lowest speed okay everybody see the motor the motor is running low speed let me increase a little bit you can see the motor so it's working right there good it's not maximum already So the motor is working perfect, but like I say, I take it off the, the flywheel, just temporary, okay? But right there is working the motor. So, and everything is working perfect. So now, if you tune it off the switch, okay? And tune it on back, you have to combat when the potentiometer to zero and I start the process again see all the circuit is off so basically you have to come back to zero and put the power again so right there is working it's working good so let me turn it off this and explain just a little bit 
about this uh, potentiometer. I use a 100K potentiometer, okay? So why I use a 100K? Because the, the controller is better, but you can use 10K, 20K, 50K, 5K, but the difference is the the speed is going to be, I mean, you know, had too much control like that one had. So right there on the center, this thing no work. So I have to push a little bit more. Oh, I'm sorry, I had the power off. Okay. So right there in the center, no, there we go. It's the lowest speed. It's the minimum speed right there, see? So it's working. Now. It's 7,000 RPM right there. Okay. That's it. I think that's all. If you had any question, just put in the comments below. Like I say, this one is for the Proform 330X. I don't know about another one, but I guess it's the same thing. So basically, so basically you have to remove this. I mean, do not be scared, just take it off. And this is the another part. So that transformer is going attached right here. So I take it off. I don't use this anymore. Alright, if you had any questions, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, please like, comment, and let me know what I think. Thank you.